Hello friends, welcome back to Angular JS tutorial series part 17. My name is Nisha Singla and in this video we will learn how to create custom filter on a collection. In the previous video we have already learned that how to create custom filter. If you didn't cover my previous video, click on the link below. In the previous video I have discussed that you can create custom filter and you can apply that filter on a collection or on a particular type like string. In the previous video, we have learned how to create custom filter and how to apply it on a particular type like string. As I told you, you can apply filter on a collection as well. If you recall about the built-in filters like order by and limit to that we have applied on a collection. In the same manner, if you want to create your own custom filter and you want to apply on a collection, you can do the same. So let's move further to implement how you can create your custom filter and apply it on a collection. So the application structure is same as a previous application that we have one module and one controller and that one filter I need to create. So let me get it from this code that we will write from scratch and in the index.html I have applied my module using ngf and controller using ngcontroller directive and then I display my complete users in a table format using ngrepeat directive and let me get it from this filter as well. When you apply your filter on a collection, in that case, a new array or new collection is going to be written based on the condition that you have implemented in your filter. So now what I want, I want to display a new array based on the condition. Uh, like I said, I want to display all the users whose ID is greater than 2. So I want to create a new array in that case. So let's move to the code. And here now we will create our filter. So as I told you to create filter, you need to use filter method. And I'm giving this filter name as of now id filter. And it takes one function. In this function, you need to return one function that is going to hold a complete logic of your custom filter. And in return function, the first argument is the input on which you will apply your filter. Rest of the parameter is the optional that decide if your filter take any parameter, then you have to hold that value in the second parameter. So now if you apply this id filter on a collection, so in that case, this input will become a collection. Let's move to the index.html. And I want to apply my filter on a complete collection. So the rule is same to apply filter. You need to use pipe character and the name of the filter and the name of my custom filter is ID filter. So when you apply this filter, this complete array is going to hold in this input variable. As I told you, when you implement custom filter on a collection, you have to return a new array. Fine. So in that case, what we can do, we will create one empty array as of now and we will insert the value according to our condition. So now what I want, I want to iterate through this input and want to find out whose value is greater than 2. Only that record I want to display. So to iterate through collection, we have one method in AngularJS for each. So you have to use Angular dot for each and it takes first parameter is the array name. So my array name is as of now is input because this is going to hold the complete data. And second is the anonymous function that will take key and value. So here the value and key. Now this value is going to hold each object that you are iterating. So from this value, I want to fetch the ID and then I need to check if the ID is greater than 2, only those records I want to see. So I'll say if the value of ID is greater than 2. Now this two value you can take at runtime through parameter that we will discuss later on. As of now I am mentioning it hard coded. So if the value of id is greater than 2 it means that the code I want to see. So now what you need to do that complete array I want to push in my empty array. So you can say here output dot push and that particular array. So when the complete logic of your custom filter is done you can return this output. Save the changes and here we have already applied our filter. Now run this one and check. So as of now you can see it only displaying me those users information whose ID is greater than 2. So it's like it's filtering my complete array and displaying only those users whose condition is true according to my logic here. Now if you want that this value should come at runtime. 
so we have already discussed that uh, your custom filter can also take parameters so after this one you can pass your value so if i say i want to pass value 2 so this value you can retrieve in your custom filter by passing second argument to your return function and suppose i'm giving it a name option now in place of hard coded 2 you can mention option here so you will get the same result as of now so in future if you change this value your output will automatically reflect that one if you want to make it more customized that this value will be decided by your user so you can take it from user as well so let's me create a simple label that enter id and i'm saying input type is equals to text so to hold the value of this input type i'll create ng model is equals to and give the name limit so in place of this hard coded value you can pass this parameter as variable in limit that will take from this input type now check here by default it's, it will not display anything but if i say 2 so it will display those users whose id is greater than 2 fine but still it's not complete if you type something else it will not display anything so this is a part of simple checking the value should be uh, valid so what you can do here you have to check what user has typed if user entered a correct value only then apply this logic so it's a simple condition you have to check if is not a number means if the value of this option is not a number or the value of this option is empty in that case i'll return as it is array there is no change in the output so i will return an original array but but if the value of input is correct then i'll display my custom logic here save the changes and refresh again so by default it will display me complete collection but if users say i want to display only those users whose id is greater than three so it will filter my output according to that and if user type something invalid still it will display my complete array so this is a way through which you can apply your custom filter on a collection i hope you like this video if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for such more videos see you in the next video till then keep learning